So life is all about good food. Life is good. Life is good when you watch a good film, and we generally offer everything out here. Um, it's it's pleasure that I've been associated with Inox. This is the third year, and um, Insignia, the food at Insignia started off as a, a pet project. As a, it was almost like a startup, if you ask me. One small uh, screen in Naraman Point where we started, and uh, small kitchen at the back, and uh, it's grown. It's really grown, and uh, I would like to thank the entire Inox team for all the support and, this, and especially Chef Abhilash, who does everything. I don't do anything. Also. He's the man who executes everything, and. Um, so wherever we go, we try to emphasize how important food is for everyone. You, us, the company, and generally the whole ethos of and ethics of the company that yes, we like to feed people well, we like to show them a good time, we offer them the best services uh, in terms of hospitality, food, technology, uh, and everything else. So wherever we go, I try to incorporate a, a hyper-local, seasonal kind of element in my dishes. Uh, and um, Pune is very close to my heart, okay? Not because my wife is from here, but uh, I've been coming to this city since the last 30, 40 years. My oldest friend in this city is, is that going there, who's right here with me today. And uh, Pune has always been about young culture, food, innovation, people like to experiment, people are very holistic. Uh, so I now, when I'm thinking of the season, I'm thinking of monsoons now almost. I mean, it's still monsoons for us back in Bombay. And uh, rains remind us something like bhajiyas, pakodas, the best vada pav in the country is from the city. Uh, I'm a big fan of Moong dal in all preparations, right from soups to salads to moong dal ka bhajiya. So I said, why don't we just combine, why don't we combine two together and bring on this whole uh, innovative approach where uh, I had made this dish many, many years ago. Uh, I had made this dish many years ago and I said, it thought, I thought it would perfectly uh, go with the weather, with the people and the kind of Mahal, the kind of environment we are. Uh, so, this dish is actually called uh, corn and lentil fritters. Okay, so it's like a moong dal, but we add some corn to bring in uh, more sweet, more sweetness, bring the seasoning. And the whole idea is that because it's gluten free, it's vegan at the moment. Okay, uh, you know it is a big thing nowadays, and it's it's good to be eat less atta weather. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to showcase this dish. And as well as um, you could use this as a vehicle to create other dishes as well. Okay. Now you can air fry this, you can bake it, you can even poach it. You know, if you want to poach it in, in water on stock or in milk, it works wonders. You know, you want to, you want to fry these and if you're making a curry, like a curry pakoda, you know, you can always use this. So, use it as creative. Now, today I'm using corn because it's in season. But you could only use any kind of chopped vegetables into this, saute them separately, uh, add it to the soaked moong dal. So, you can create broccoli and moong fritters, you can create mushroom, you can create carrots. There's, there's no end to it, right? So, uh, first things first. So, what we've done is, I've actually made a mixture here, but now we are going into the rewind mode and I'm going to come back to where we are doing this. Now obviously, I can't do everything here. I've got a small hand blender here, which I'm going to try and spin this here, if you can help. So what we do now first is that, uh, as we all know, you have to soak the moong dal. Uh, moong dal is not much of a uh, a pain or it, is, it doesn't take too much time. So I would say about three to four hours is, is you can easily soak moong dal and uh, it actually it does its job for it. Okay? So
So we don't use any pressure cooker, nothing like that. We are not cooking it. We are basically just making it into, we are soaking it so you can grind it. You can make a pancake, you can make a dosa, you can make a, a Maharashtrian style pesa ratu, but from the from Maharashtra. Or you can make Vicky Ratnani's and Inox's uh, corn fritters, the choice is yours. So I'm going to be using a little bit of, uh, uh, I'm going to be using some oil for it. So now, first thing first that we have to flavor the corn, okay? Before we actually pulse the corn, we have to add some flavor. A damn good thing is that, you know, you buy a butta from a butta wala, he's already roasted it for you. You can take it off the cob and you can use a, you can use that charred corn along with that masala. Blend it a little bit, add the moong dal, blend it again and you can get a charred corn and moong dal fritter as well. So I'm going to start off with my with my tempering or tadka. So I've got I've got some olive oil here to which I'm adding a little bit of mustard seeds. I'm adding some kadi patta. I'm adding a little bit of jeera. Okay, very standard. I don't mess with the Indian tempering. Okay, uh, I think it's one of the best things we have here. So we've got this here. I've got a little bit of a little bit of onion. I've got a little bit of ginger, I'm not using garlic in this recipe and I've got a little bit of green chili. So this is your basic standard tarka, there's no rocket science. You can get as creative, you can add some uh, red chilies as well in this. Now, so we are literally sorting this off first. Uh, you're not going to make it too brown, you're just going to make it a little translucent. Uh, next, we're going to be adding a little bit of our, where's the corn? Oh, sorry, yeah, the corn. Next, the corn goes along with my corn. I'm going to be quickly, literally just kind of saute it a little bit. And to this, I'm going to be adding a little bit of, of turmeric powder. Oh, sorry, I'm going to add a little bit of asafoetida in. I'm adding a little bit of red chili powder and just a little bit of turmeric, okay? And definitely salt to taste. So this is your basic uh, prep what you would need to do your, your fritter, okay? This can be pre-made, it can be pre-done, you can cool it down, keep it with you, you can add a little bit of a little bit of lemon juice to this as well. Okay, our typical uh, street thing happening on here, thank you, chef. So we're doing this, and also then if you want to add a chef touch to it, a little bit of lemon zest, okay, which adds a lot of beautiful flavor to it. Okay, so we're adding a little bit of lemon zest here as well. So next we have our uh, our, our corn. I mean, um, our moong dal which we've soaked. I'm just going to literally very lightly saute this, okay? Very lightly. You don't have to, just to give that, um, you know, to, it's got a, a very typical kind of flavor to it. So, what we are doing is we just kind of saute it. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pulse this, okay? Chef is going to pulse it for me. Uh, we would have to cool this mixture down, obviously, before we start cooking. So that's the reason why we use this. Uh, uh, we use uh, we use a time machine at Inox. Okay, we are using a time machine here. Okay, it takes you to wherever you want. So we this time machine has taken us across. Sorry, has taken us across uh, about an hour ahead of time. Back to the future, we are here. <laughs> the mixer is ready. So at least you know, you know, it's not that uh, it's coming out of space, it's done right here. Uh, also, you're going to be eating this while you're going to watch the movie as well. Okay, we are serving it, right? Yeah, yeah. We are serving it. Let's double check. <coughs> now, very simple, you can use your hands, wipe your, wash your hands a little bit. What is the oil? We can either do the oil or we can also do a uh, a quinelle method, if you want to do, you know, you want to make quinelles like this, 
the nails are literally rugby ball shaped. You can do this or simple go go to your uh, your uh, analog style. Okay, we go to drop these here. You can turn it down a little bit. So very simple, guys. You know you have a corn. Uh, you know you can also freeze this mixture. Okay, in a in a airtight dabba or a ziplock bag. I think it's a little hot. Come here, please. So we've got our our thecha mayonnaise, which I'm going to be serving. Garlic, garlic and uh, uh, it's a garlic and and red chili ka thecha which you get. Or uh, you know that's the Jai Maharashtra in me. Uh, very patriotic to my state. Okay. And um, so, what I like to do with this thecha, I think the thecha is the most indispensable condiment we have. Uh, it, it can go, yeah, please. It can go with just wash my hands. It can go with anything. Yeah, it, you can turn them down a little bit. A little bit. So we got this one. Second. Okay. So we've got these fritters here. I'm going to take these off. Give me your. So for the thecha mayo, very simple. Uh, anyone knows how to make thecha mayo? You look like a chef. Right? Anyone? You know it. Come on. How do you make that? Teach me how this. Come on, now I'm going to learn to do that. So that take some mayonnaise, add a little bit of salt and pepper, whisk it really well, add a little bit of olive oil, and then add the teach. Salt and pepper to taste. Okay, so that's how you do it. So it's just very straightforward. I have it ready here. Okay, we are serving this. Um, we are going to be serving this um, in here. Okay, we've got these lovely baskets in which we are going to be putting it. On the side, we have a little bit of salad. Okay, for all you young ladies over there. So you want to do a lentil and fit a bowl. You can do a bowl where you have a nice, uh, lovely mixed leaves, shredded carrots, red cabbage. Okay, very high on uh, antioxidants. So what we could actually do is so putting it there. Why don't we plate it for them, Jeff? Yeah, should we plate this? So we have our so we've got our uh, the tencha mayo. We're just going to do a, a smooth on that into which we will have our our fritters which we have here So we have our outfitters here. We're going to do a little bit of this going on here. A little bit of fresh coriander here. We also have some lovely sprouts, which chefs call them microgreens, which you're going to be adding over here. And then we have some uh, edible flowers. So we have a lovely lentil or moong dal and corn chapajia. Amala Sati prepared just in. It's, I mean, if you have, I think it's a great snack 
very easy to do. Everybody's got corn dal at home. You can buy fresh corn on the cob. You can get uh, corn kernels which are available in the fridge. And all these spices are from your dabai at home. So I mean, before we put it on the menu here, I think we can make some at home and try it, correct? Or we should not try it. No, don't make it at home. Come here and eat it, right? I'm getting some stairs from there. Too much pressure up to it. So here we go, guys, and then we have a little bit of uh, salad here. And here we go, guys. Lentil and corn fritters with a teacher mayo.